Your Fally and your YouTube psychic. Card of the day. Readings. Unboxings. Your daily source for things arcane. Again, I am not an investigative journalist, nor a detective. Everything I have found was in the public domain, on the internet, and I must warn you that there are some highly sensitive topics we'll be discussing today. So, it is important that you make note that we'll be discussing death, suicide, cancer, decomposition, rotting flesh, and pungent odor. If you find any of these topics uncomfortable, I ask that you end this video here. Otherwise, the purpose of today's video is to set up the tarot readings on Friday and hopefully find some answers. Gloria Bombo, a South African citizen and resident of McKinney, Texas, was found hanged inside her garage. Gloria resided with her roommate, a white male, who found her in the garage Sunday, July 12, 2020. As per her roommate's statement that has been since deleted from Twitter, the hot water heater in the garage was leaking and needed replacing and had caused water damage. On July 9th, he went to the airport to pick up his mother, whom would be staying with him to assist him in cleaning it up and fixing the water damage. On July 12th, he returned home from work to find a foul odor coming from the garage. As per the weather reports, the temperature on July 9th was 93 degrees Fahrenheit and had high humidity. The hotter the temperature and more humidity will speed up the decomposition, and you should start getting an odor within hours due to the gases leaving the body. In Kentucky, we have a high humidity, and it can get unbearably hot. Uh, my brother passed away at home from cancer in June of 2014. With hospice, they eventually will send someone out, usually a nurse, to make the call that they have actually passed away. Uh, then my family was free to contact a funeral home to have them come retrieve the body. So, it was noticed that he had stopped breathing, so my niece, his daughter, contacted hospice and they said that the nurse will be dispatched. After four hours, the nurse arrived, made the call, and uh, she contacted everyone. I arrived just before the funeral home and was able to say my goodbyes. I had noticed that his corpse had already begun to, keep, to decompose. This was about six hours after his death. My mother's home, uh, where this took place, did not have central air, and the home was cooled by window units. Most of the home was unbearably hot and humid for my liking, and uh, my brother had passed away in what was once my bedroom as a kid. I did not notice a smell, however, his skin had started to turn color. Again, this was six hours after passing. I know that the cause of death can affect the corpse. You know, however, the weather should have made it impossible to miss the smell after one day at least. Miss Bombo was a 20-year-old black woman, and her death is garnering attention online. A Facebook user by the name of Jamila Arnold posted about the death of Gloria Bombo. The post reads, Gloria went missing Thursday and supposedly died in that garage the same day, July 9. Gloria's body was in that garage for three days, where people resided and repairs were made. No one has heard anything about this. Why? We need to know what happened to Gloria. Now, the message claimed that uh, Bombo was found on July 12th by her white male roommate. Um, the Post tagged Collin County NAACP, the Dallas Morning News, and other media outlets. Arnold's message has since been shared over 1,600 times with more than 250 comments. The Collin County NAACP wrote on Twitter that it was looking forward to the release of the police details. The McKinney 
Police Department took to Facebook on July 23rd to address the social media speculation. They stated that Bombo's death was possibly a suicide. The McKinney Police Department typically does not comment on suicides, including naming the deceased, but due to the public nature of this case, we feel the need to clarify some inaccuracies. The post reads, A number of posts on social media have speculated about the death of Gloria Bumbo, a 20-year-old black female. Ms. Bumbo's body was discovered by her 19-year-old roommate, who has fully cooperated during the investigation. All evidence in the case so far leads investigators to believe it was a suicide. The medical examiner's findings are still pending, but the preliminary examination of the body has not uncovered any evidence to contradict what was discovered at the residence. The case is still open and under investigation, it added. We are committed to a complete, thorough investigation of Ms. Bombo's tragic death, and we grieve the tragic loss of this promising young life, police said. As of late July 23rd, social media users were rallying to make the hashtag, hashtag Gloria Bombo, go trending. Some criticized the media for its lack of coverage on Bumbo's death, while others questioned whether it was actually a suicide. The story from the McKinney PD isn't adding up, one user wrote. A Twitter account by the handle at I'm not Janelle posted a statement on behalf of Bumbo's roommate, according to Diaspora 7. My friend, who has, who was also Gloria at Gloria, hashtag Gloria Bumbo's roommate, asked me to make this post on his behalf and share the correct information in regards to her passing. The caption read, The account, which has since been made private, shared several screenshots of apparent text messages between Bumbo and her roommate up until July 10th. The account also released a supposed statement from the unnamed roommate, which claimed Bumbo lived with bipolar and anxiety disorders. The tweets have since been deleted. I have looked everywhere and cannot find the medical examiner's findings, nor... Excuse me. um, Nor the results of her autopsy. So, on Friday, we'll be doing some readings to find out what's going on. I do find it strange that your roommate goes missing for three days, and then you find her swinging from the rafters of your garage. Uh, That is uninhabitable, as per your own statement. The mail stated that it's impossible for Gloria to have been able to get into the garage by herself since the garage door was broken. To this day... A suicide note has not been found or reported to have been found as far as I can see. The only thing that does look odd is the fact that on her bed, they found an envelope with her last paycheck and her ID in it. I um, am not a woman, of course, so I do not carry a purse, nor do I know if Gloria carried a purse, but um, it appears to me that she planned on cashing her check and doing something. Now, I have to say that attempting suicide, you do not make plans. If the check were found by itself, I'd say, "Mm, okay, she at least picked up her check, but to appear to be ready to get it cashed is very suspicious. I will tell you more about my experiences Uh, with that issue at a later date. I've also seen this video of a young black woman that appears to be hung by white men in front of a Confederate flag. I will not be sharing that either. From many outlets, it says that this video is fake, although it is severely disturbing. I suggest you do not go looking for it at all. Um, 
Racism is not okay on any level. Black, Asian, Latino, Native peoples, or white, it's never okay. I grew up on a farm in central Kentucky Beach, in the middle of nowhere, and I didn't in contact, come in contact with a person of color until I was nine or ten. Of course, I was a bit afraid of something new and different. However, I did my best to be nice to everyone. I'm a people pleaser. It's exhausting. Growing up the majority of a minority, I know what discrimination looks like. I can hide mine if I need to. However, there are those that are being judged by the color of their skin. Judge someone by the content of their character, not the character that you see. Before you come for me, let me explain. Everyone has a chance with me. If you screw me over, that's it. No more chances. Bye, Felicia. I've dated black men and Asian men. I've never really dated a Latino nor a native. However, I know their race wouldn't be an issue. Except the fact that my husband might have a problem with me dating someone else. That might be a problem. Now, to quote the King James Version of the Bible, Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Don't throw the Bible at me, girl. I was going t into the seminary before I realized that God loved me even though I was gay. In my beliefs, he loves me even more because I am living my truth. Now, if anyone you know is suffering from mental health issues or suicidal thoughts, please get help. Contact the National Suicide Prevention Hotline in the United States at 1-800-273-8255 or visit them at https colon forward slash forward slash suicidepreventionlifeline.org. You can call or chat with them as well. There is someone there 24-7, so you can always get help. Now, as far as our video on Friday... We're going to be um, doing a series of yes or no questions in regards to Ms. Bumbo, her state of mind, her um, whether or not she was planning on cashing her check. I have a list of questions. Now, if you have questions you want asked as well, please leave them in the comments section below. I will be checking the comments on this video. Uh, to see if uh, you know there's any other questions you guys have and if there is I will include them in the reading if they are applicable if they are not then um, they won't be included basically <laughs> so bear with me we'll get through this we'll get this taken care of um, I um, don't want um, her to have committed suicide, nor do I want her to have gone through what I believe she would have gone through had this been a lynching. So, either way, this is just horrible, and it's not something that should have ever happened. Um... Because if it was her roommate and it was a lynching, that is just gut-wrenching to think about that she trusted that man with her life. And it ended the way it ended. Allegedly. Um, you know, with him doing the lynching. That would be horrible. And uh, what would be horrible is the fact that um, she felt so lost, lonely, scared you know, everything that you're feeling when you are considering suicide. And let me tell you all, that that is not the answer. It is not. So anyway, um, I'm going to get to starting to write all my questions down. So again, 
in the comment section, leave your questions and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you on Friday. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to order your own reading please visit me at tarobiterthalion.tk Don't forget to subscribe to my content.